Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Latte Panda IOTA. It's a four core Singapore computer N150. This particular version has eight gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage space. It has a module you can attach, use SSDs. It has these Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi antennas. I've already covered on the channel how you can install this. It's pretty easy. You just add a thermal paste, connect this fan here, put it there and connect this module, connect this battery here and you're set. You can watch that for more information. I'm gonna play the chess up two against Gemini CLI, the command line feature. It's not going to be great. I just wanted to run something on this and just test it. So it takes me a lot of time to actually build a robot. This is much easier to test for now to see the performance and how responsive it is, but it does run Windows 11. To install Gemini, all I had to do was go say terminal and then install Node.js, use the packet manager, npm, and then you have npx to execute them. So in this case, I say command that I'm running is wsl to run a sort of a Linux kind of thing here and then use Gemini. So when I say Gemini is going to load, you give it your API, you can get from Google AI Studio and you're ready to go. Now, obviously these APIs they do have limits because you're using it for instance, this is the latest version that I have. So it updated, I think. Now what we're going to do, you can create a Gemini.md and put your instructions. It's sort of like agents.md. So I just have to give it the instructions. I want you to play like a chess grandmaster with 3000 ELO. I want you to play chess. Okay, I just repeated the con bunch of times because I want to make sure that it gets it. So I'm going to play white here. So it wants to play E4. I don't think it's going to last much. I don't think this is the strongest one. I've had the most success with Grok. If you go and check the channel, I've done all these different models. Grok did the best one even though it is still lost, this will do well for I think six, seven, maybe 10 moves and then things will get interesting. It tries to break, let's see. D5. So we reached a moment of truth. It's amazing. A lot of these models, when they hit the move 13 or 14, they start making illegal moves. Before that, they act like they know what's going on. So that is not a valid move. The position is not bad, actually. If you look at the position, I have to explain it. So it loses track of the turn. It thinks that E5 is its pawn and it can go back. Now it goes with this move. So and that's a bad move. She drops a queen. So this is kind of pointless. It's the game is over anyway. It actually played a good game till move 13 and then it sort of lost track of the position. See now it makes ND4 but then this is just over now anyway. 
I mean, you just drop the queen, so it's not pointless. And uh, but Stockbridge is just gonna win easily. I'm just gonna do a couple of more. I'm just gonna go. Show the castle. E2 is not valid. Oh, so that's about it. It's just pointless continuing this. So now I want to do F4. I'm just gonna stop it there. There's no point to continue this. Drop the queen. And this is gonna drop. This is right there. It was a good exercise installing Gemini CLI command line on this Latte Panda computer with WSL, Node.js, and just a couple of commands. You can even ask ChatGPT to give you the command, so it's not really that hard. Just have to grab your API key, you can put it in your system, and you'll be able to play chess or just ask questions from Gemini. This was the Latte Panda IOTA, and this was the Chess Up 2. Check the description, I have a coupon for this, so you can save some money on it if you are interested. And this one you can find on DF Robot. I'm going to link in the description to where you can get these or get the reviews. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. That really helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching.